Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you the Astrock Destiny build for Hackintosh. I think it's as good as Mac Mini. You get two displays, while on Mac Mini you get only one display. And if you want more, you have to convert from your Thunderbolt. So here it is. I'm using the G Skill RAM plus 2666. I bought it from New Egg, roughly $80. And this is the unit itself. It's called STX form. It's like really small. You get a free Wi-Fi with this. These are some cables, the SATA cable. You can add one NVMe, two SATA drive. These are the NVMe screws. And this is what when I assembled. This is the Wi-Fi card. We cannot use it in Hackintosh, but just for the purpose of the demo, I'm showing you. In my another build, I converted from Apple card to the key E plus A or A plus E. I'm not sure what it is called, and it works perfect. The card works in Clover, in Windows, and of course in Apple it's like native card. This build was inspired from some of the user and I cannot remember from which forum and I copied his EFI. It's very good. I'll try to find a link and paste it here. But in his EFI the USB 3 speed needed to be fixed which I have fixed in my folder. So I will share my folder and the original source. This is my build. And this is it. So I just want to show you that it really works on both the monitor. One by DisplayPort and another by HDMI. So only thing we have to set here is Disable Secure Boot and HCI enable it hands off. So the first system I'm booting is the i5-8400. It's as good as Mac Mini I think. In this we have one terabyte of NVMe, 16 gigs. The only thing it's lacking in my opinion is Thunderbolt. I wish they had a smaller one. I wanted to go with Intel NUC on this, but the CPU speed is not as I expected. This machine is built for my bedroom studio, I would say that. Not in my main studio, or you can say this is a portable studio. It has Type-C in front, Gen 1 means you can only 5, 5 gigs of speed. So I'm going to show you which one is my main monitor and also I'll just customize some of my clover. I have not tested much to show you on this but it's capable of good studio work, I can assure you that. System is very compact. So see this is i5-8400 connected to monitors on Intel UHD graphics. While I'm recording video, it caused some problem, some glitch, but not a big deal. And let's see the Geekbench test.
so everything even the editing is going on with this same machine in my opinion it's fine just like exactly the same as mac mini only we are lacking thunderbolt so we cannot use eGPU but if you are patient it's fine my build is for my studio so I don't have problem with that this is the score and next I'm going to put on the 8700 machine this board is capable of only 65 watts but now they have the latest CPU 9900 no K just 9900 it works on 65 watts and now we are on the i7 machine so let's benchmark and this was the score if i try recording at the same time i get like 20 percent less score so this is it, I hope you can make your decision which Mac Mini alternative you want to build. Good luck!